it doesn't happen in Crawford County very often, uh, but you know it, it still happens. Uh, any you know one time is too many. One time is too many. In July, law enforcement officials found Sandra Kendall dead with a gunshot wound in her home. The two charged for the crime: her daughter Christine Philippi and Philippi's boyfriend Jason Strawbridge. Between that whole family, it was uh, a common occurrence for law enforcement to be called to that uh, residence for uh, domestic issues. But Crawford County Sheriff Will Rutan thinks things didn't have to end the way they did that day. Do you think if you had more manpower, the situation might have ended differently? It's a very good possibility it would have. Rutan says the family members lived on the same property. He says Philippi lived in a camper separate from her mother's home. The property is in Bel Air, Illinois, a rural community north of Oblong in Crawford County. A long time to get there. Uh, 15 minutes is a lot of time when something bad's going on. Rutan says officers had already been to Bel Air once the day of Kendall's murder. They were serving an order of protection from Kendall to her daughter. The sheriff says his department is like many across the nation, putting public safety first, but battling low patrol numbers to do so. It's difficult to, uh, uh, you know, to police such a large area um, with the, the amount of uh, people that we do have. So. Um, it's, a, it's an unfortunate situation that, that happens. Rutan says since this incident, the department has changed how it responds to certain situations. Both Philippi and Strawbridge will appear in court later this month. Back to you.